into a year of mega increase increase on all sides that business is coming back to life that marriage is coming back to enemies. life your health you are stronger is going back than to your life. you are stronger than that evil negative family background 2022 is your year of mega increase Acts of the apostles chapter 7 Acts of the Apostles chapter 7, read from verse 15. It's still talking about Israel in Egypt. It says in verse 15, So Jacob went down into Egypt and died. He and our fathers and were carried over into Shechem and laid in a sepulchre that Abraham bought for a sum of money of the sons of Amor, the father of Shechem. Verse 17. But when the time of the promise drew nigh, <laughs> God, which God had sworn unto Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt. Now, this, this verse is so powerful if you understand it. He said, let me read again. But when the time of the promise drew nigh, which God had sworn to Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt. When God entered into covenant on Abraham, God told Abraham, this land on which you have traded and sojourned, dwelt these years. That is the land of Canaan and the land of the Amorites. God said, I've given it to you. But you can't possess it now because the Amorites, the Canaanites, they are still there and the reason for which I will drive them away and give you the land has not yet been accomplished. And what was that reason? Their iniquities. And so God said, their iniquities is not yet full. I have to wait until their iniquity is full before I can legally transfer this land to you. But God told him, however, before that will happen, your children, your descendants, they will be in a foreign land and they will dwell there for 400 years. And so, when Jacob, when Joseph was in Egypt, he sent for Jacob, his father, about 75 souls. They went and dwelt in Egypt. And God was using that as a place of preparation. Let me tell you, the things you should be going through in your life, the things you should be going through in your life as just times of preparations. You didn't hear me. I said there are times of preparations. God has been preparing you, but the set time has not come. And so, here, yeah, Stephen is telling us that, listen, when the time of the promise drew near, the word that God spoke to Abraham, 400 years, your descendants will be in a foreign land, they will afflict them in that land, but I will visit them and bring them and they will take possession of this land. And so we are told that that time drew nigh. That is the time had come for that word to be fulfilled because God swore to Abraham and told Abraham by oath, by covenant, that this is what I will do. And in ancient covenant, it was life for life. That is if I covenant with this young man and tell him that uh, you give me food from your farm and I will protect you because I'm a, a military person or somebody who knows how to fight a security person that can protect somebody and things like that. So I will send my boys who protect you, protect your family but from your farm, you always supply me food. Now if he fulfills his part, supplies me food and I refuse 
to protect him when he's in trouble, I have broken a covenant and I will have to pay with my life. Because the covenant in ancient times were blood covenants. So when God swore to Abraham, that is why Stephen is using the word here, sworn. When God swore to Abraham, it was a blood covenant. God was telling Abraham, my life for your life. If I don't fulfill my word, then I will pay with my life. And there's no way God can fail. That is why Abraham trusted God the way he trusted God. He knew that God could never fail. Because it is a blood covenant. If God fails, then he will no longer be God because he will have to pay with his life. And so that time came for that word to be fulfilled. When that time came, the Bible said, the people grew and multiplied in Egypt. Listen, 2022 is your set time for your total freedom. Is your set time to enter into the fullness of God for your life. And therefore, in 2022, you are going to grow. In this land, you will grow. Any land you enter, you will grow. You will increase. You will multiply. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Is it Jesus? Many of us don't know who Jesus is. Jesus is God's answer to all the problems of man. Is the, answer, the only answer that God has. God doesn't have any other answer. Jesus is God's answer to all the problems of man. And so Paul tells us that in Jesus Christ, every promise that God has made, they are yes and amen. So that means if you are in Jesus, every promise that God has made is already yes, is already amen. Yes means affirmation, you are accepting, you are agreeing. Amen also means so be it. You are saying yes to it. So Jesus is the amen to God's promises to you. So if God, for example, says you are blessed, it's because of Jesus you are blessed. Since you are in Jesus, is your amen, you are already blessed. You don't need to struggle to be blessed. You don't need to do anything to be blessed. You don't need to allow any false prophet to deceive you that this something must do, this ritual, bring this money, bring that. When you do it, then you'll be blessed. No. Because of Jesus, you are already blessed. Amen. Is your yes, is your amen, is yes and amen to all of God's promises. And so when he said here, yeah, when the time of the promise drew nigh, which God had sworn to Abraham, the people grew. For you as a believer is referring to Jesus. Jesus is that time of promise. And Jesus has come. And therefore, it is your season of increase. I say it's your season of increase. And it is mega increase. Abundant increase. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.